Hello friends, today we are going to learn about tending operation. Actually, what is tending operation? Why tending operation is important? At what interval this operation should be done? Why are tending operation important in forest management? From this video lecture, we will know and learn all these things. Now, let us start. Tending operations are carried out in the forest crops at different stages of growth in order to provide a healthy environment for their development. Not only on forest crops, these operations are carried out on competing vegetations too. They are done to provide growing space for trees. These operations are carried out for the benefit of forest crops. Some of the tending operations carried out in forest are Weeding, thinning, pruning, pollarding, climber cutting, etc. All these operations, that is, weeding, thinning, pruning, collectively known as tending operation. These are also known as culturing operation, carried out for the benefit of forest plantation at any stage of their life cycle. These tending operations are carried out at various interval according to the need. Now we will know about weeding. First of all, what are weeds? Weeds are unwanted plants that grow itself along with major crop or main crop. These crops compete with main crop especially for nutrient, light, etc. So these crops should be removed. The process of removing such unwanted plants is known as weeding. Such weeds can be removed or controlled by following ways. First one is mechanical method, and there is biological method, and and there is chemical method. Mechanical method of weed control includes pulling such weeds, cutting such weeds, and biological method of weed control includes using live organisms such as insects, nematodes, bacteria, or fungi to reduce weed population and chemical method includes using chemicals to remove to remove such weeds chemical that are used to kill weed are known as herbicides now what is cleaning cleaning is the process of removing or killing of overtopping competitors that are significantly taller than the desired trees and usually done in sapling stays here mainly the competitors are removed now let's discuss about thinning in forestry thinning is the selective removal of trees primarily undertaken to improve the growth rate or health of the remaining trees here what is meant by selective removal selective removal mean unwanted trees diseased trees decayed and dying trees all these trees are removed selectively after 5 or 10 years, depending upon the species and site condition, the canopy closes or root competition is so heavy so that the plants are not able to grow unless they are thinned out. So thinning is very important. From here, we will know the purpose of thinning. The main purpose of thinning is to reduce risks of disease and pest and to reduce competition in root and crown. Thinning is done to improve hygienic condition and to provide best condition of growth. Now we will know about pruning. Pruning is the removal of all branches up to a height of 2 meter or up to a height of 2 by 3 of the total height of tree. Why pruning is important? Pruning is important to reduce the risk of fire damage especially in pine stand and to improve the quality of wood. So pruning is removal of certain parts of plants such as branches, birds, etc. Pruning removes dead and dying branches and stops allowing space for new growth. It promotes plants natural shape and healthy growth. So pruning has its own importance. Now what is pollarding? 
In polarding, trees are caught 1.5 to 3.5 meter above the ground rather than at ground level allowed to grow again. It is similar to coppicing but coppicing is done from ground level but polarding is done at certain height. Especially it is done at 1 to 1.2 meter. This puts the regrowth out of reach of cattle and other browsing animals so these plants will be protected. This is done during leaf seeding season. This provides ample fodder from your leaves. During cold season there will be shortage of fodder and in this season leaf will begin to shed. so this is one of the advantages of pollarding. It is one of the oldest form of forest management. Now what is climber cutting? It is the process of removing climbers from the forest. Climbers tends to breeze across crown and also damage the tree. Climbers damage the tree. They help as a fire inducer and they help in crown fire. Along with this, they reduce the tree growth. Their additional weight can cause branches to break, exceeding the carrying capacity of the trunk. Sometimes they damage the structure of the tree. Climbers can wrap tightly around the trunk or branches and mimic groups and damage the flame of the tree. Thank you.